I have been fascinated by radiation for many many years. Sadly, good equipment isn't that cheap. Anyways, you can see some radiation with naked eyes and minimal setup. Welcome to the chemical workshop. This is a americium 241 sample used in old and I am pretty sure now banned smoke detectors. Anyways, the alpha radiation is coming out right about here. Rest is just casing. And this is a spin gyroscope. Well, basically a thin sheet of activated zinc sulfide. Anyways, you can see the instructions below, so let's do it. And yeah, we see nothing. The reason is simple. The flashes are way too dim and it's way too bright in here. Let me change the ISO on my camera to amplify the light. I'm not turning up any lights, I'm just amplifying the image and noise. Now let me kill the lights. Can you see it? The noise is a bit too much. So let's try something different. Now I am recording at 5 frames per second. Not going into too many details, but the slower you record, the more light you get. This allows me to drop the ISO and noise lower. Okay, now you can see it. Now let me change my camera settings to give you the best demonstration I can with my setup. Because I am working with digital files, let's also slightly denoise as well. In case you ask what the red light is, that is the power LED on my PC. This has been the demonstration of a spin gyroscope. Continue watching for a bonus if you want. Voice over done by a copper chopper. Join the discord before I get banned by YouTube. Now let's try something different. This is a screen covered in glow in the dark paint. When I hit it with the UV, it fluoresces. I adjusted my camera back into low light mode. Let me place the MRCM facing down on the screen. Oh well, maybe I'll hold it from slightly above the screen. Yeah, as you can see, it does not work. Maybe storing them sandwiched in a dark room for hours would make it work? I doubt. Comment if you want me to try that.